Hello, uh, this mm -hmm. is Ashik Raja and welcome to this video. We will learn uh, how to consider a uh, backward difference table with MATLAB. Uh, backward difference table is uh, pretty similar to the forward difference table and first day I have got to show you how does it apply. This is it. Uh, I have some input values or eight values, some output values or y values and uh, just the same formula to calculate the uh, differences and uh, this is subtract in the first element from the second element. Uh, Likewise, uh, twice of one minus twice of zero gives us uh, first order, uh, and uh, just uh, using the same formula, I get uh, the differences. Uh, so uh, let's uh, get back straight to my code and see what we do. Uh, first, I've uh, taken over uh, the inputs, and uh, in this code, I introduced you some uh, how to take uh, user input rather than the minimal minimal input. Uh, this is uh, more useful than taking user input. Uh, I have number, I need to take uh, the input of number of observations uh, that is stored in a variable a and uh, run this code. Uh, the starting uh, number of observations is 1, I take interval is equal to 2 and the ending value is 9. So x uh, gives us 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9, which is a row vector. Uh, now I need to calculate the number of uh, input values to uh, get the uh, uh, same uh, number of output values uh, from the user. Uh, that's why I, I've used this size command, uh, which will give me uh, the number of column and rows in this x variable. So I just run this code. Now, I uh, I have uh, uh, one row and five columns in this uh, x variable. Now uh, I've uh, used this for loop uh, for taking uh, the input value, uh, input values or uh, y values of, uh, that I need and for corresponding x. Uh, now I take the input uh, 12, 25, 30, 22, 18. Uh, so my uh, input values are stored in this uh, y variable uh, as uh, a column with. Uh, okay, uh, now I just need to use this formula to calculate the differences uh, in this form. Uh, this, uh, this formula works uh, similar to the forward table uh, when d is equal to i is equal to and uh, n is equal 5, so this uh, loop will work over 2 through 5. Uh, now I just uh, need to show you how does this formula work. Uh, when uh, j is equal to i is equal to so y of two comma two minus one so y of two two comma one. Uh, I see this y of two comma one. Uh, this is twenty five and uh, I can call it y sub one. Uh, and y of two comma one comma two comma one that is y of one comma one. I write this y of one of one at twelve, and from the input values, I can say this is the uh, y sub zero. So uh, this formula is like y sub one minus y sub zero, which is the formula to calculate our difference. And uh, the other differences are calculated uh, uh, using the just uh, changing the indices of uh, i and j. So I run this code to calculate our differences and store it in a variable. Uh, now I have just uh, printed the uh, x values and y values uh, with the differences. I run this code and show you how to it. Now, firstly, uh, I had a row vector x. Uh, I needed to convert it uh, as a column vector. Uh, just uh, uh, using line gap, I have converted to a column uh, so that it looks like a table. Uh, and then uh, in this for loop, I've just uh, printed the uh, uh, y, va y variable where I have stored the uh, uh, input values and the other differences. This is how to construct a backward difference table of MATLAB. Uh, thank you for watching this video and uh, uh, leave your questions in the comment box.